everyone, welcome back to another episode here at TNT's Unplanned Bunker. Captain Mayhew signing in. I hope you all are having a fantastic night. I know I am, but my night's gonna get a whole heck of a lot better. Why? Because tonight's episode, Meatloaf. I, for many years, struggled with a recipe, could not get it down as either overcooked, undercooked, dry, runny, couldn't do it. Found a recipe, made awesome meatballs, and LT said I needed to turn it into meatloaf. I will put the original link in the description so you guys can find it. I've altered it here so you can see what I've done versus the original. Now if you like meatloaf, click that like button, subscribe, hit those notification buttons. Now let's get to cooking. So we're going to start with a pound of ground beef. I use 80% and a pound of kielbasa sausages. I just use these and then I strip them out of their skin and I use those. We also have four eggs. Yes, those are from our ladies. We have a half a cup of milk. We have a half a cup of panko and a half a cup of breadcrumbs. We have a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon salt, and a teaspoon pepper. We're going to end it with a whole cup of Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to pause the video here with all the ingredients listed in to the screen so you guys can follow along if you want to or at least see what our recipe is versus yours. I'll see you back in just a few minutes. All right guys, now that we're back, I'm gonna put on my gloves because I hate, 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 hate getting meat under my nails. Hate it with a passion. So now that I have my meat, I got it all set up, I'm going to go ahead and crack in my, my four eggs. One, two, three, I'm going to put in my milk. Put in my breadcrumbs. My panko. Followed by my salt and pepper. My Italian seasoning garlic powder, and onion powder. Now that I've started mixing it in, I'm going to make a little well there. I'm going to take my cheese, put it right in the middle. I'm going to fold it all in together. Give it a good, good mixing. You want to mix all those seasonings in, all those little panko pieces and breadcrumb pieces and the cheeses and all the seasonings is all in. Get it all nice and together. Now we like our meatloaf with mashed potatoes and a good salad. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do you guys like your meatloaf with? Do you guys like meatloaf, mashed potatoes, gravy with green beans or corn? It's an all-American meal here that we're cooking tonight. So leave your leave your favorites down below. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now that we have it all mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our pan. Let's talk pans. I know most people like using a meatloaf pan or a bread pan. I prefer a spring-loaded cake pan. Why? Because when you open it up and your meatloaf is done, you see that whole crisp edge and you see it. And we mix it with mashed potatoes so shape doesn't need to be all loaf and uniform. And when it's all done, you'll see what I mean. It's delicious. So here we have our pan and our meat. I'm going to go ahead and take my spatula. I'm going to scoop this mixture right into the pan. And press it down to make a nice uniform meat cake essentially. I'm using a cake pan. I started using this out of necessity actually. My Ooh. LT had used my pan for something in the garage and there was a little melted metal flex stuck to the glass and huh. it was just a mess. So then I was like, well, I'll use this and it turned out to be, well, a great invention. So there we go. There we have it. You're going to come with me. I'm going to take my pan and I'm going to stick it in my oven. Take my meatloaf in an oven that's preheated at 425 degrees. Because I use a cake pan, I put a little cooking rack or cookie sheet in the middle. Close it up. We'll come back and check it out in 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Check on it. Ooh, it's looking tasty. Yeah, it's how it looks. So now it's just about half done. Now, I'm going to turn on my potatoes. Get them going. Yeah. The key is to rotate it. Oh. So you get the front and the back side cooked evenly. Oh. I'm going to put it back in. Yeah. Close the lid. I'm going to put the timer back on for 25 minutes. While the timer's going, the potatoes are going to cook, and the dinner will be done. So I'll see you guys when I take it out. So the timer just went off just in time because my potatoes are done, salad is served. Let's pull it out. Mm-mm-mm. Wanna see it? Come on. There it is. So now the beauty of the beauty of this type of pan is we turn it around, we pop it open, and there it is. There's your meatloaf, a nice crust all the way around. I say, let's serve it up. So now it's time to cut into our meatloaf. I call it a meat pie. Serve it right over the mashed potatoes. Take a mini one for the mini recruit, put on his potatoes, and there you go.
potatoes, mashed potatoes, and a salad. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much for joining us today and we'll see you guys in the next video. Captain Mayhew, signing out. Bye guys.